The Minister of Education is back on the spotlight of allegations that close to 360 billion shillings funded by World Bank was spent on various projects, such as post-primary teachers' training and allowances for the teachers in hard-to-reach areas. The money is also alleged to have been used for the purchase of HIV and AIDS books for schools in northern Uganda and feeding programs, among others. Now, police detectives are demanding for accountability of colossal sums of money. The detectives have summoned Agaba John Mary, the commissioner in charge of secondary education, to avail accountability documents from schools where the training was conducted. They also want a list of all consultancy firms that were contracted to train school management committees. However, Agaba did not show up and is expected to appear at the CID headquarters soon. This comes after Semakula John Baptist, former Commissioner Human Resource, and Florence Malinga, the Commissioner for Planning, were summoned last week over the same case. The investigation has begun in July this year after a whistleblower raised an alarm. So far, the investigations have been conducted in several schools in northern Uganda, Masindi, Masaka, Bundibujo, Iganga, in some parts of eastern Uganda. Separately, the six officials from Cairo Bank, who were arrested yesterday, recorded statements at CID headquarters after spending a night at the Special Investigations Unit in Kireka. According to our sources, the Uganda Registration Services Bureau and NGO board have so far confirmed that the East African Community Beneficiaries Association is not a registered entity. This one comes amidst allegations that the 63 billion shillings was paid to 1,018 ghost pensioners in Cairo International Bank. Also critics say that this means that the bankers were dealing with wrong people and also at the same time a wrong association. The officials were grilled for nearly 10 hours and the source says detectives allegedly found a list of the 1,018 ghost pensioners who were all paid sometimes by passing the bank scrutiny. Only one official, Tarek Muhammad, the bank's operations manager, secured a bond, while five others are still being held at the Special Investigations Unit. <laughs> Police are investigating whether they colluded with others in the Public Service Ministry to pay out 63 billion shillings. Today, Police also extended bonds for Obey Christopher, the Commissioner in Charge of Pensions, and Peter Sajabi, the National Secretary, East African Beneficiaries Association, Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.